Well, hello everybody and Merry Christmas. If you were with us last night, either live streaming or in person at the five o'clock service, you know that we did not have the Christmas Eve that I think all of us wanted to have. Uh, about three minutes into the sermon, about halfway through the service, the water sprinkler system ruptured right next to the sanctuary and it poured literally what I'm guessing to be thousands of gallons of water into the sanctuary. It set off the fire alarm and we all had to evacuate the building and I'm heartbroken for us. I, I really am. I'm heartbroken personally. Uh, I don't know about you, but I just wanted to have something that felt like a normal Christmas Eve after all we've been through in the last couple of years. And I know you did too. But the good news is, is that buildings can be fixed and ours will be. Nobody was hurt. As far as I know, I guess I would have heard by now, everybody made it home safely and now it's Christmas morning, and here we are. When you think about it, the Christmas is full of the Christmas story is full of examples of how things just well they just weren't going according to plan. I'm sure that Mary, I'm sure she just wanted to have a normal pregnancy, and well that wasn't happening. I'm sure that Joseph wanted a normal engagement, that didn't happen. I I'm guessing that the shepherds just wanted a normal night of watching over their flocks by night, and we know that didn't happen. I, I, I would imagine that Mary was just hoping along with Joseph to have the baby at home like, like, people, like people did during that time. Well, there was nothing normal happening in the Christmas story and God was through all of it. And God is through our story at Christ Church as well. It certainly will be a Christmas Eve that we will never forget. <laughs> I know, I know I won't. And I just wanted to share with you on this Christmas morning an excerpt from Luke chapter 2 and, uh, and a brief thought on that, picking up at verse 9. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has, been, that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Friends, hopefully for for most, if not all of us, the busyness of the season is over. It's Christmas morning. It's Christmas day. Let us take stock of the glory of God that is around us. Let us ponder the goodness of God. May you have a merry and blessed Christmas that is full of hope, of peace, of love, and joy. God bless.